Well, the Transforming Education Summit set out a vision. Uh, now it's time to uh, take stock on to what extent actually this is turned into action in different parts of the world and to ensure that we mobilize the resources that education needs to, to flourish and to deliver on the ambitions of the Transforming Education Summit. The report is the first systematic effort actually to quantify the losses our economies and societies incur by poor quality education or simply children not being enrolled in school. Uh, we put a number to this. This is 10 trillion US dollars that our economies, our societies lose because education does not deliver on its, its promise. But at the same time, the report also sets out, you know, what are the costs of action, which is a, a, are a tiny fraction of what our economies actually <coughs> lose currently. And uh, it's an achievable goal. We also show some countries that have actually made the necessary progress, that have turned better education into better jobs and, and better lives of, of people. What is very clear that a big part of that picture needs to be domestic resource mobilization. There's a lot of innovative financing coming into play, but 97% of the money spent on education comes from domestic resources. We need to broaden tax bases to ensure that more people in our societies, larger parts of our economies contribute to this. We need to make sure that a greater share of tax spending actually ends up in the future of our, e our economies. No? Our schools today are a future economy tomorrow. And we need to make sure that uh, the money is spent in the most effective and uh, efficient ways. Well, there are some quick uh, solutions that leaders discussed. Uh, one is uh, debt swaps to ensure that you know, debt is transformed into investment in the future. There are a couple of countries that have shown this can be done. It's hard to scale that. Uh, but in the longer run, nothing will you know, move us short of mobilizing a greater share of tax money in, for education and also to broaden the tax base. So basically domestic resource mobilization really is the key for a long-term and sustainable solution. Mm -hmm.